Hi everyone, welcome to What You Missed, the week of May 25th through 31st. I'm Ryan Wingfield, and no, I haven't heard of me either. Donald Trump's worst nightmare came true this week. He might have to wear an outfit the same color as his face. Yes, Donald Trump might be the first presidential candidate in U.S. history to not legally be allowed to vote for himself. On Thursday, a jury found the former president guilty on 34 counts of fraud connected to his porn star hush money scandal. Many experts expected the jury would come back hung, which in itself would have made history as the first time the word hung and Donald Trump existed in the same sentence. The sentencing for Donald Trump is scheduled for July 11th. He could face up to four years in prison or, let's be honest, four years in the White House. Either way, he's going to be surrounded by men with guns, and either way, Melania is not going to give him a conjugal visit. After the verdict, Trump posted that, quote, this is far from over, which, to be fair, is true. We still have three more trials to go. In other news, singer Nicki Minaj was arrested in Amsterdam after she was caught trying to leave with a couple of joints in her backpack. Seriously, Nicki, a couple of joints? That's like coming home from the strip club with a single fleck of stripper glitter. It's not enough to show that you had a good time, but it's just enough to get you in trouble. The Chinese government is cracking down on social media influencers who brag about their wealth, this while the country goes through an economic slowdown. Canceling an account might sound harsh, but it is still far preferable to the old French method of a similar problem, guillotines. Boeing Airlines has announced a plan this week to fix quality and safety issues, which are responsible for a door flying off a flight earlier this year. Number one on the solution list, making Boeing officials fly in the exit row. A new Mario game by Nintendo has the series' first transgender character. The character, named Vivian, originally was born a man, but now identifies as a woman. Or, in Super Mario terms, she traded in her Super Mushroom for a Power Star. Speaking of inclusion, June 1st is the beginning of Pride Month, so happy Pride to all my friends in the LGBTQ plus community, as well as some of my straight friends who will come out when you're ready. A new study finds that cases of ADHD are on the rise and may now affect as many as one in nine children. The good news is that if you made it to the end of this three-minute video, you're probably not one of them. That's all for this week. Please like and subscribe so next week I can do it again.